1995, at Nintendo, there was a Game Freak. But besides that, there's also a shadowy figure. And this is a Pikachu doing a drop kick. And it's red, for some reason. And now it can surf. And more running. And it flies. This is so shocking, it'll even shock the viewer. You wanna know why this is shocking? Because I'm back from my five month hiatus, and this is Pokemon Yellow version. Hey everybody, this is Summer Dude the Fourth. This is not Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, but this is Let's Play Yellow version. Pokemon. Let's continue. Alright, I have to create a new game. Alrighty. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Or Prof. Though this world is inhabited by creatures called Pikachus. For some people, Pikachus are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pikachu as a professor. Just kidding. First, what is my name? That is a good question. I will name myself... Jack. Jack. Alright. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Uh, what was his name again? His name is Gary Frickin' Oak. That's right, no, I remember. His name is Gary Frickin' Oak. Jack. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's get going and minimize it to a crappy 8-bit figure. And we are in my room. I'm playing the Super Nintendo. Okay, it's time to go. Yes, Super Nintendos. I have a friend of mine that likes Super Nintendos. I probably have a couple friends right now that are freaking out because I'm actually let's playing, uh, Pokemon Yellow version. Right. All boys leave home someday. It says so on TV. Wow. What a mother, what a great mother. She gets advice from the television. Huzzah. Anywho. Professor Oak, next door, is looking for you. We should go find him. Let's go. But first, let's talk to this random lady. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Cool story, but they won't get strong unless if you actually battle with them. Alright, let's talk to this guy that always talks about technology. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. Awesome. Although it's kind of standard for Pokemon games now, but this is a blast from the past. Gary Frickin' Oak. Yo, Jack. Gramps isn't around. I ran here because he said he had a Pokemon for me. Well, alright then. Alright. Well, let's go off on an adventure. Off, off, and away! Hey, wait! Don't go out! That was close. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Speaking of Pokemon... It's a frickin' Pikachu. A wild Pikachu appears. Hey, wait a minute. You frickin' hypocrite! You said that I can't even go out in tall grass because I don't have a Pokemon to protect me. But yet, you don't have a Pokemon to protect you either. So therefore, that doesn't really make sense. And you didn't lower it to red, so therefore that didn't work either. Ah, well, whatever. You caught a Pikachu. Phew. Enough ranting. A Pokemon can appear anytime and in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Oh. Sorry, I caught the music. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Hmm? Gary Frickin' Oak, why are you here? Already. I said for you to come by later. Ah, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Jack. Do you see that ball? On the table? Um, yes. It's called a Pokeball. You don't say. It holds a Pokemon inside. You don't say. You may have got it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Be patient, Gary. Frickin' Oak. I'll give you one later. Sweet. Let's go grab that Pokeball. Rejected. 
No way, Jack. I want this one. Gary snatched the Pokemon. That's not a good thing! Gary frickin' Oak, what do you think you're doing? Gramps, I want this one. But I... Ah, fine. That Pokemon is yours. I was gonna give you an one anyway. Jack, come over here. Jack, this is a Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild, and it's not tame yet. You don't say. You just caught it like two minutes ago. Jack received a Pikachu. Alright. Do I want to give it a nickname? Uh, no. Alright. Well, as long as I have a Pikachu, off on our adventures to begin. Wait, Jack. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. And now we have our first ever trainer battle look. None other than Gary Frickin' Oak, who has 12 of 8 gym badges. Gary wants to fight. Gary Frickin' Oak sends out Eevee. Ah, sweet. That's right, in yellow version, he has Eevee instead of Pikachu. Well, I found this out because I did a test video earlier of this. Alright, Pikachu, let's go ahead and use Thundershock on this guy. It uses Tackle. Oh, nope, they use Tail Whip. Haha, you missed. Go attacking! It uses Tail Whip. Crap, my defense fell. Use Thundershock again. And I whistled my ass. It uses Tail Whip. My defense is falling. I use Thundershock once more. Enemy Eevee uses Tackle Attack. Oh crap, that's close. But I'm gonna win this one. Yeah! Your Eevee has been defeated. I gain a lot of experience. I go to level 6. Sweet. Pikachu learned Tail Whip. Alright. Jack defeated Gary Frickin' Oak. What? Unbelievable! I picked the bet wrong Pokemon. I got lots of money for winning. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Jack, Gramps, smell you later. So long, Gary Frickin' Oak. What? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. Sweet. Alright, let's go ahead and go to options, because it's gonna bug me to no end unless we do this, put it on fast, and that takes care of that. Alright, so as long as I'm paused, let's go ahead and go over to the pause menu here. We got Pokemon, you can look at your Pokemon, although we only have one, it's Pikachu. And we got items, which we don't have any. Jack, which just shows me how much money I got, how many, how much, how long, blah, how long I've been playing, and the gym leaders and badges which I have, which are none. Because I'm only seven minutes into the game. This is save, you just click on save, it asks to save, you hit yes, the other file will be erased, save data, that's okay. And saving. I saved the game. Alright. Crap, it just locks the game. Anyway, now we leave. Alright, now that I got my Pokemon, let's head on out. On an adventure, because it's adventure time! Alrighty, we run into a Pokemon. It's a Pidgey! It's a level 5 Pidgey! Go, Pikachu! Alright, we're gonna use Thundershock. It's so shocking, it almost killed you. It's using Gust. I'm using Thundershock. Wait a minute, that shouldn't be very... Oh, wait a minute, that's right. Flying does normal damage to electric Pokemon because it's first gen. I have to get used to first gen rules, I apologize. Alright, but yes, that's correct. This is first gen, so therefore first gen rules are in effect. Which means, there is no such thing as steel type Pokemon, there is no such thing as dark type Pokemon, and there's no Pokemon above 150. And, there's a Pidgey. Alrighty, let's go ahead and fight, use Thundershock. Shock the crap out of this thing. And kill it in one shot. You fainted. Gain experience. Alright. 
and we're moving our way up through Route 1, and let's talk to this guy. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. Awesome. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. We got a potion. Alrighty, potions are useful because potions heal 20 damage, which this early in the game is actually quite useful. So, we shall continue forward and up, and up some more, and we'll talk to this guy. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Yes, that's right. If you run into a ledge, you can't go up a ledge. However, you can go down a ledge, but you can't go up. So that's a quick way to get around if you're wanting to backtrack. And we run into a Pokemon. Eventually I'm going to edit these out, but for now, I probably won't. I might edit this one out if I don't uh, level up, or at least the next one anyway. Electrical- oh, it almost got you. Oh! Crap. Eh, let's kill you. You fly, you die. This isn't Pokemon Colosseum. Anyway, moving up. And we move on. Up, oh, and another random encounter! We are back. Alrighty, and we continue on our way to Viridian City. And... Would you look at that? Welcome... To Viridian City. The battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points, also known as GP. To replenish power points, rest your tired Pokemon at a Pokemon Center. This is true. Alright, speaking of Pokemon Centers, this is a Pokemon Center. Pokemon Centers fully restore your Pokemon for free. A staple in Pokemon games since, well, since the first gen. <laughs> you know, there you go. And we're healed. Your Pokemon are fighting fits. Let's leave. Let's talk to you. There are Pokemon Centers in every town ahead. They don't charge any money either. Holy crap, that's amazing. Let's talk to you. Pokemon Centers heal retired or hurt or fainted Pokemon. Alrighty, and that's something that we won't worry about for now. You can use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me, so kind. Awesome. Let's go down. Let's talk to you. you Wanna know about two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? No. Okay then. I'm not really interested in Caterpillar Pokemon because it's just Caterpi Caterpie and Weedle. Hey, you come from Pallet Town. You better bet your butt again, Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? Yup. His order came in. Will you take it to him? We got Oak's parcel. Nobody uses the word parcel anymore. But we shall deliver his parcel to his Davenport. No, I'm just kidding. Davenport's actually a couch. But anywho, we're on our way back to Pallet Town because we were told to by a Pokemon Mart guy. Let's go. La 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 This song is kind of annoying But I'll sing it anyway because it's stuck in my head And na 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 Oh hey, I'll be right back Just kidding, because this is our first encounter of a Rattata Rattata is a rat Pokemon It is also a normal type However, since we cannot catch Pokemon, it's not really important So all we have to do is kill it By the way, uh, those Pidgeys that we ran into Were normal and flying type Pokemon uh, I'll be catching one of those eventually when I can catch Pokemon, but as for now, we'll just go ahead and be satisfied with killing it. Alright, and Pikachu grew to level 7. Alright, we continue on down, and change colors, and we are in Pallet Town. Up in here we go. Back to Professor Oak. Oh, Jack. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? I delivered your parcel. Ah, this is a custom Pokeball I ordered. Thanks, Jack. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. Gramps. Gary frickin' Oak. Gramps. My Pokemon's go stronger. Check it out. Ah, uh, Gary. Good timing. I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. On the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It has a high-tech encyclopedia. Jack and Gary. Frickin' Oak. Take these with you. Jack got the Pokedex from Oak, and so did Gary Frickin' Oak. To make a complete guide of all the Pokémon in the world, that was my dream. 
But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I'm gonna vicariously live my dream through two ten-year-olds. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it to me. Jack, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Jack. Ha ha ha. So long, Gary Frickin' Oak. Alright, let's talk to Pikachu. Because you can talk to Pikachu every so often, and he'll show you how he's feeling. Right now he's feeling kind of annoyed. But eventually, as we walk with him and battle with him, he'll grow to like us better. Hey, I know. Let's go to Gary's house and ask for a Pokemon town map anyway. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Here, this'll help you. I got a town map. Alright. So, now that we got ourselves a town map, uh, I think this is what we'll do for today. We'll head back to Viridian and figure out where we go from there. So until then, this is some random dude the fourth, and this is me saying see you later, and God bless you all.